Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Victorious. This is part nine of the 1741 live stream of Owen Benjamin. Okay, let's read some mail. Wilson Bear, my official. I don't remember that. Is that great? Okay, yeah. Don't be scared. Designed by a PhD in 1975. Don't be, don't be persuaded by those techniques. Of uh, don't be scared. That's that's pure pressure. Don't no. Just say no. Built by illiterates in 1500. For those, I think there's some truth to that. Okay, let's read some mail. Wilson Bear, may I officially be verified as Wilson Bear? And I listen. I went. I was getting too worked up before. Um, just keep your kids away from perverts. It's not a big deal. No one needs to be shot. I was getting too graphic. Yeah, but keep your kids away from perverts, such as Owen. Don't let them watch Owen. I've got a 12 year old. He knows his name, obviously, because that. He's Mr. Goat or Mr. Toad, <laughs> you know? And uh, yeah, he doesn't watch Owen though. I was just thinking a lot about old Duke and how Duke the German Shepherd had to be put down because of his fucking terrible behavior. But like people just get to, you know, just run around trying to fuck everybody and just, it just, it's just crazy. I get it. It's all about uh, forgiveness. I get it. All right. Um, Codsworth, are we caught up? That's such a passive way. It's all about forgiveness. People don't, um, I don't feel as though Owen deserves my forgiveness. I don't feel he, I don't feel as though it's even an issue. If that makes sense. I shouldn't forgive him. He shouldn't ask for, for, for my forgiveness. That's not how that works. Now, if he came to me, confessed his sins, and uh, anyways, <laughs> I, had to, I had to pause for the cause for a minute. Guys, why don't you turn me back on? Uh... But what I was saying was, um, yeah. Anyways. Twitter, let the people hear the letters, and I'll watch their language. Coddington. Damn it, Coddington. Turn us back on Twitter. Uh, guaranteed it's Hemcrete. Who's Hemcrete? I got a new car thinking of license plate NGLCOM. Niggle.com. That's great, MJ Bear. Disclosure is on us to accept offers or not. Yeah. Kind of, let me know when we're back on. All right. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I love reading your mail, physical mail. It uh, You can't be canceled in reality. You can only be canceled. In- People wonder why he is so adamant about supporting um, the... Uh- United States Postal Service, and it's because that is one that is the it's it's above um, entropies to him, and it's because there's no taxes. People send him money, cash, gold, silver, um, anything, and I don't think there's any type of high ground that he's taken with it. I just think that that is his main avenue for non-taxable, non-refundable uh, income these false accepted realities that's why freedom of speech doesn't even matter on twitter it's not twitter it's reality like can we still have freedom of speech yeah mail each other letters the united states postal service is america it's the it's the the postal service and the highway system are mind-blowing institutions of america and it's owned by a third party by the way the united states Postal. the last time that i heard okay so p.o box 490 sandpoint idaho 83864 go ahead and throw in some silver some gold you know, some there it is. Platinum, whatever you want. Um, but the letters are phenomenal, and it really does help build the community because you guys get to hear from uh, from each other, so you know, so you know you're not alone. Maybe dog owners should be punished for their crimes. I did hear that the the bare minimum uh, for him to read your letter on stream is twenty dollars. No, no, you have to put down a dog that bites a kid. Do you understand what I'm saying, Bravo Bear? You fucking Sarah McLaughlin people. If you have a dog that bites a kid, you have to put down the dog or rehome it to like a farm with no kids or something like that's on you. Like you can't allow that. That's called gross negligence. And the next kid that gets bit is your fucking fault. So. So I believe that that bear did the right thing, but I just, you know, because I've thought about that, too. Like I've had I'm so fortunate that George has doesn't bite anybody, but he is so not controlled. <laughs> but I would never put down George unless he actually bit somebody, but he doesn't do that. Did BB do nothing compares you yet? Yes, I did, but I'll do it again in a minute. Dear Big Bear, I was spraying coffee out of my nose when you were making fun of the Mexican producer of the movie Sound of Freedom. 
The guy's name is Eduardo Verastugi, and he has a curious past. Yeah, Carlos Slim. Look, Sean, Rogan, according to... Had tranny porn on his phone and lied about why, and Rogan had a chubby in that picture with that Blair White. I think they got into some kind of that sex magic stuff as a result, like... Mill, and you never get off. You end up being gay and impotent. And I'm not saying that directly. Like, I don't know that about Rogan, but he's just textbook example of that. Where you're like, you just get ugly, like you get more into ugly, dirty, taboo. Like when Joe Rogan was telling that one comedian, Shane Gillis, that he really likes women with armpit hair. Codsworth, do you have that? Uh, do you have that clip? He said that he doesn't mind armpit hair, and it was two comedians talking. And <laughs> this is how comfortable Joe Rogan is with his sexuality. Shane Gillis made a joke that uh, Joe Rogan was gay, <laughs> or at least really close, and it cracked Joe Rogan up. I might be able to snag that. And I'm not trying to, like, throw stones at the guy. I swear to God I'm not. I'm not saying that in a cheeky way. I could have... I, I have a hard time believing I ever could have been a homo. But I know that world of, like, just constantly going to the next woman. And that just degrades. It doesn't take you up. It takes you down. And the That's a universal truth in order to uh, rope you in and to uh, lower your your guard for the whole pay your gay away. I mean, it speaks for itself. It really does. A lot of people that uh, end up... What do we got? Rogan gay. There we go. Like, I'll show you some of these clips. I don't think Rogan started off as gay. Hey, like, watch this. This is a dude. By the way, Joe Rogan is married, from my understanding, to an Asian lady. And has been for a while. Then, like, this is a dude who's went down the sex magic fucking path. All right, here we go. Over there, got me. That's hilarious. Armpit hair doesn't bother me at all. No. Doesn't bother you? So no. you like jack ladies with armpit hair? Yeah, a little bit. You get close. <laughs> <laughs> you get close. You're so close. See, that's that's somebody that's comfortable in their sexuality. This is just my opinion. Somebody that's comfortable in their sexuality. That is uh, an active comedian talking to another active comedian who he just roasted him, saying oh, you're getting you're getting close. And obviously, it's jokes. That's what this is. Jokes. It is, and that's why he's laughing the way he is. That's a genuine laughter. When's the last time you saw Owen laugh about anything that was said to him that was a joke? Now, he'll laugh every once in a while at something that he's not... He's saying that's not really a joke, but it's... it's an, it, there's so many different reasons for it. Some, sometimes it's to uh, prime the audience for laughter, to remind them that he is supposed to be funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a fruitcake. Like, he's not joking. He's like, he likes girls with armpit hair. The fuck is he talking about? He said he doesn't mind it. That's what he said. He didn't say he preferred it or even liked it. He said he doesn't mind it. Yes. We go, I don't believe shit you say until you show me irrefutable evidence. And otherwise, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Here's my take on monkeypox. I, there's so much going on in the world. I see monkeypox and I go, okay, what is it? What happens? See, I want to fast forward it through this because of copyright claim. That's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Yep. Uh, we're good. Because yeah. that's the right way to put it. You're getting close. Where it's like, you're on that path where you're fucking gay. Bravo should have been like, you're not gay, right? Like I've said before, according to TOS, no opinions, reflection, whatever, the, the people that I'm commenting on reflect uh, the beliefs of Texas Go Radio Show or Metorius. No, I think Bravo is just covering for him because all those dudes know about Joe the Toe. Whenever he said the MP word, the uh, that one disease, uh, it, it it made me nervous. Like I've had a couple of them be like, how did you know? Like, nobody knows. Even Alex Jones is like, how did you know about Joe Rogan's sexuality? He did homosexual experiences in Las Vegas. I'm like, dude, he, he talks about it openly. All right. This loosely translates. All right. So in Mexico, they have a phrase that goes this. Soltero, Maduro, Joto, Seguro. This loosely translates to older and single. Uh, homosexual for sure. And possibly handsome El Duardo supposedly had his come-to-Jesus moment in the early 2000s when he became intensely Catholic. Yeah, that means he's super gay. 
He started crusading against abortion and began promoting all sorts of church stuff. He's like, oh, my God, the best way to avoid abortion is to have sex with a man's ass. Um, he started, uh, in any case, maybe he really did pray the gay away or maybe not. The Sound of Freedom film has ties to Carlos Slim. Oh, that's the other guy. I thought that was Carlos Slim. Did you know that Senior Slim has a son that is very similar in many ways to Hunter Biden? In fact, he's been accused of operating sex traffic rings in multiple countries. I think the movie Sound of Freedom is all about sex trafficking and not fighting it. I saw another video. There was a it was a lady talking about the Sound of Freedom. I don't know if she watched. She, she said that she watched or what, but she shared the same kind of point of view that Owen has as far as uh, that it's desensitizing. It's it's designed to desensitize people. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I think one of the most genius ways to uh, launder money is say like... I want to say that it's not because it's got Jim Caviezel in it, but I mean, you honestly never know. And yeah. You can go buy a ticket, but buy as many tickets as you can to pay it forward. And that way you can have these empty movie theaters with these huge amount of money coming in and it's funded by a gangster. Like that's genius fucking money laundering. Think about that. Like they can be like, oh, I made $50 million. It's like, well, I went to a movie theater and it was like empty. It's like, oh yeah, but people will buy like 10 tickets. It's like, you got any proof? <laughs> like you can, you can just say all these people are buying tickets to go see Sound of Freedom. Uh, I mean, it's so twisted, that movie. Oh, and by the way, like child acting is bad for kids. There are kids. In- <coughs> I would agree with that to a certain extent. I would. I I used to think child acting in like horror movies and stuff like that was was bad. But I saw an interview of of a child actor in a horrendous horror movie. I don't remember what it was, but it was it was it was a good horror movie. And uh, the the child actor didn't have any idea what they were in because it was shot in such a way for them that movie playing the role of victims of child sex trafficking imagine when they become adults and it's like why the fuck did you put me in that movie it's like they can't consent to being a movie about child sex trafficking (laughs) like what is that even like so there's like 10 11 12 year olds in that movie uh, like they can't consent to being in that movie they're little kids so you're telling me when they're adults they're gonna be super happy that you put them in a Colombian jungle after there is something to that being raped Oh, they were really raped. That's horrible parenting. Horrible. I used to date Christina Ricci. I used to be really good friends with uh, the little kid from the Christmas story. He produced all of Vince Vaughn stuff. Pete Billingsley's a great guy. I know a lot of famous child people, actors. Even those wholesome ass movies, dude, that world is not for kids. Like putting kids in that fucking in those movies. He's reminding people that he has that he is part of Hollywood so that they still feel the connection. Between, I remember whenever I watched them in 2017 and 18 and uh, on YouTube, be like, why is this dude that's been in Hollywood? Why is he, why is, why is he, uh, I remember having this thought and you can judge me if you want to. That's fine. I judge myself for it. But I remember thinking, why is this dude like hanging out with normal folk? Now I know why. It's so dark, man. Anyway, um, you should look up the mysterious disappearance of Mexican supermodel Graciela Rico Jimenez, the young woman who was found half naked, ranting incoherently in front of the Mexican hotel and was never heard from again. The clips made it on local Mexican television, but most information about the supermodel has been scrubbed. This case will destroy the last week and manifested these. And making me laugh. I told you not to let the <sighs> ladies jack. Right outside the Nothing I just said is against terms of service. Part of our history. Use old timey boys. Pick a bear. <laughs> he's on Twitter. He's on Twitter. I just saw those dolls and just skipped it. That's funny that he's on Twitter. That's, I mean, it's not funny in the way that he thinks it's funny. All right. Salutations to you, Bob King of Bertari. And, and I'm doing the old timey voice because, uh, 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 because you gave me such a great super chat. It was really generous. I literally believe nothing I hear on the radio or anything. Oh, yeah, like Eric Weinstein is now trying to promote aliens. He's like, I can't verify it, but some bodies have been found that were not of this world. I'm like, did they have a big, gray, floppy cock? If so, it could be explosive. Remember when I called that? 
that the Grabbers are all going to Portugal. He's like, and I like Eric. I really do. He thinks I'm a genius, and I'm a sucker for people who like me. <laughs> but uh, remember when I was like, the Grabbers are all going to Portugal? And, and he, is. he is. He is a sucker for anybody who likes him, anybody who gives him a compliment, anybody who gives him money. That is exactly who he is as a human being. No standards, no morals, no ethics that, that guide him. It's just flattery and monetary gain. That is that is it. Oh, I've seen a tweet today. Does anyone have any places I should visit in Lisbon? <laughs> and pants. His mullet is now... Boots fell like wood shop. It took... <coughs> Excuse me. So one of the reasons why he still has somewhat of a following is because they they get to they get to share their little fifteen minutes of fame, or whatever, having some Hollywood person they used to date Christina Ritchie, Christina Ritchie, uh, reading his uh, reading their their letters. My money and still has a. I hold my past against myself. It, how about this? I bear. I'll give you a. Uh, I'll give you a uh, a challenge. Don't say the words I, my, or myself for the next week ever. Only talk about not yourself. Like talking about yourself like that is gayer than like fucking a guy. That's the same fucking way too. Jacob asks like, yeah, you know, I can't, I can't leave Mr. Miggles or else like it's too scary because I'll just crush so hard. That was a surprisingly nice response from BB considering. It was, it was really good advice. And I bear just said, I know I struggle with the idea of loving myself. I hope you sound like you sound gay, dude. I hold my past against myself. It, how about this? I bear, I'll give you a. Uh- <clears throat> okay, so listen to what the dude said. I struggle with the idea of loving myself. And then this is what he says. He said some variation of that. I struggle with the idea of loving myself. You should love yourself. You should. Now, if you don't, I would I would ask you to uh, ask yourself why. If you're actively trying to be a better person, if you're actively trying to be moral and ethical and make good choices, then you should have an appreciation for yourself. You should love yourself. But listen to Owen's advice, which it could be good advice. I've given somebody advice just like this word for word before. Uh, I'll give you a, uh, a challenge. Don't say the words I, my, or myself for the next week ever. I would like to see Owen Benjamin do that. Do a full, do full live streams for a week normally without saying I, my, or whatever, whatever he just said. Only talk about not yourself. Like talking about yourself like that is gayer than like fucking a guy. Rockfin, Mike, great streams this week. Thank you, brother. Cortisol Bear says, uh, hey, what do we got going on here? My buddy found a Robin egg. Um, I should ask that I actually really like Alex Jones in spite of the tranny porn. All right. Anyways, uh, this one was a difficult one to get through for some reason. Um, This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.